Good morning, everyone. My name is Marissa Thompson, and I am currently a senior at Green Hill School. I attended Daycroft from preschool to fifth grade, and after I graduated from Daycroft, I moved on to Green Hills for both middle and high school. When I started sixth grade at a new school in a new environment, I found that Daycroft had prepared me extremely well for middle school. Both my math and science classes seemed more like review, making the transition a lot less stressful. I was already prepared to read the type of books that we were expected to read, and I already knew much of the basic algebra that we learned. Most of my Daycroft classmates who had transitioned with me to Green Hills found the same. But what I remember most about my elementary school experience isn't that I was prepared for middle school. It's the experiences that made Daycroft so memorable, from learning in the classroom, to writing and putting on plays with my friends, to building extensive forts out on the playground. We were encouraged to use our imaginations every day. From first to fifth grade, we never stopped playing games as a class during recess, but we were always just as happy to be inside, learning and reading. We learned how to learn, and we learned to love learning. I had the best teachers in those years. Looking back, I feel so lucky to have had the chance to be taught by such amazing and dedicated people. They always encouraged us, always made us feel competent and special, and always taught us with patience and understanding. I don't think I could have had the experiences that I had at Daycroft anywhere else. In first and second grade with Ms. Seeger and Ms. Leach, we raised chicks and then quails after they hatched in an incubator in our classroom. I remember being six years old and watching in amazement as, as a dozen little chicks hatched before our eyes. We were lucky that they happened to hatch during the school day. That year, we took a trip to Green, Greenfield Village to learn about the early Americans and how they lived. But instead of simply taking the tourist path through the village, we dressed up in pinafores and frocks and spent the day learning in a one-room schoolhouse. I can't explain how amazing that experience was for us as six and seven-year-olds, but it's something I think about every time we go back to that time period in my history classes now. When we learned about medieval times, we got to dress up as princesses and princes and knights to learn about each person's job. We built a castle out of boxes in the middle of the classroom, and everyone got to choose their own role. I was the only girl who wanted to be a knight, but still, I got to be a knight. I especially took a liking to our unit on ancient Egypt, and a group of my friends and I wanted to learn more. Our teachers gave us time in the library to research and put together a presentation for the class. From that year on, three of us chose a country at the beginning of the year and spent time working throughout the year on the presentation to give to the class. It wasn't an assigned project. We didn't get a grade on it, and nobody else in the class had to do it. It was just something that we wanted to do, something that interested us, and something that our teachers told us we could do as long as it didn't interfere with our weekly work plans. It was at Daycroft that I learned simple yet valuable skills, like time management, a, a skill that continues to help me today as a busy senior with lots of college applications and a host of AP classes to handle. We also got an introduction to languages. In Ms. Mati's Spanish class, we learned Spanish while learning about Spanish culture as well. This inspired a love of learning that continues today. In fact, in high school, I have exceeded my language requirement by taking two languages, Spanish and Mandarin Chinese. In fourth grade with Ms. Horn and Ms. Lazaro, plays became something of a craze in my class. Everyone was writing their own productions and enlisting their friends to star in them. It actually became a little out of control when there were, when there were requests for two or three plays a day. <laughs> <laughs> The teacher had to come up with a sign-up system so that there was still time for our math and grammar lessons. But they never stopped us from putting on our plays. If we wanted to write one out, and if we could get our friends to help us out, there was no problem if we wanted to share what we'd done with the class. My time at Daycroft was special. It was exciting, it was interesting, and it was rewarding. I wouldn't trade my seven years here for anything. It's strange to be back here again after so long, especially now that I'm about to move into the next stage of my life. But I'm excited to hear about the next generation of elementary schoolers, and I know that Daycroft will help them be, to be successful in all that they do. Thank you.